You recently proposed to your girlfriend, Sharon, who is 30 years old. The engagement seemed to start on a high note. Just over a month and a half ago, you both felt happy and compatible after two years of dating. However, soon after she put on the engagement ring, her behavior took a significant turn. Just a week after the proposal, it felt as though everything changed. You had always believed that you shared similar values and morals. So it was shocking to see her attitude shift so dramatically. One day, you came home to find six women you had never met before at your place. Sharon introduced them as part of her inner circle. You were puzzled as to why you were only meeting them now, especially since you had known her two best friends, Michelle and Octavia, for a year and a half. Sharon explained that she wanted to ensure your relationship was solid before introducing you to more of her friends. The timing of their visit was also frustrating. It was a weeknight, and they quickly consumed a lot of your wine without offering to contribute. You felt this was disrespectful, especially since they were uninvited guests in your home. When you tried to discuss your feelings about having uninvited guests, Sharon dismissed your concerns, which left you feeling ignored. As the following weeks went by, Sharon began to go out with her friends frequently, often bringing them to your place without warning. Each time, they treated you like a servant, demanding refills for their empty wine glasses. After several incidents, you expressed your frustration and suggested locking up your wine. But Sharon brushed off your concerns and called you no fun. In an attempt to mend the situation, Sharon suggested that you all go out for dinner together. However, during this dinner, the conversation took an uncomfortable turn. The group started discussing topics like modern relationships, jealousy, and even polyamory, ideas that had previously been against Sharon's principles. You were shocked to hear her express uncertainty about issues you both had agreed upon just a month earlier, like being friends with exes and maintaining a monogamous relationship. The dinner ended on a sour note when the bill arrived. Sharon suggested splitting it evenly, which you found unreasonable given the context. This led to an argument, and ultimately, you left the restaurant after paying your share in cash, leaving her and her friends to figure out the rest of the bill. After this incident, Sharon accused you of being toxic and fragile, but she would apologize afterward, insisting she was just stressed at work. It felt absurd to you, especially since you hadn't even begun planning your wedding yet. Things escalated further when you received a notification from your Nest doorbell camera while at work. You saw Sharon and one of her friends arriving at your place and leaving with your golf clubs, a gift from your father that you valued greatly. When you called to confront Sharon about it, she tried to gaslight you by claiming you had previously promised to lend them to her boyfriend, which you knew wasn't true. You felt understandably upset about the unauthorized borrowing of your expensive golf clubs, so you made it clear that you wanted them returned immediately. Sharon continued to insist that she had your permission, which frustrated you even more. You told her that if the clubs weren't returned within the hour, you would have no choice but to call the police. Not long after, you received another notification showing Sharon and her friend returning with the clubs and entering your home again. Her friend even flipped off the doorbell camera on the way out. When you finally got home, you felt a mix of anger and betrayal over how Sharon had treated you and your belongings. This entire situation has left you feeling lost and questioning the foundation of your relationship with Sharon, who once seemed to be a perfect match. You noticed that Sharon was acting out of character and had her friend over, which prompted you to express your concerns about her behavior and the impact it was having on your relationship. When you confronted Sharon about your feelings regarding her toxicity, she dismissed your concerns and attributed her behavior to work-related stress. However, you weren't convinced by her excuses and expressed that if you had known this was how she would be after the engagement, you wouldn't have proposed in the first place. This seemed to take her by surprise and escalated the conversation. After your discussion, you asked Sharon to return the engagement ring and her house key, indicating that you needed to reevaluate your relationship. This led to an emotional exchange where she begged you not to cancel the engagement, insisting that her behavior was only due to stress. You maintained your stance and proposed discussing everything in more detail over the weekend, which she reluctantly accepted. Once she left, 
You took some time to reassess the situation, feeling the need to clear your head and make your house feel like a safe space. Sharon started texting you, sending messages of love and apologies, claiming she only wanted to show you off to her close friends. However, you remained skeptical, especially since her friends were bombarding you with messages criticizing you and calling you toxic and fragile. They insisted that you weren't man enough to handle Sharon sharing her life with others. Some mutual friends who had known you both during your two-year relationship were shocked by Sharon's sudden change in attitude and suggested that there had to be more to the story, implying that perhaps you had said something that triggered her friend's reactions. After reflecting on everything, you decided to make the breakup official, and when Sharon returned, you had already invited a few mutual friends, Casey, John, and Mike, to be present for support. Sharon seemed taken aback by their presence, but you explained that they were there for both of you. Sharon suggested inviting three of her friends to even things out, but you refused, citing her previous theft of your clubs as a reason to keep things focused on your concerns. During the conversation, you pointed out that her behavior had changed significantly since the engagement and questioned why she had hidden the existence of her six friends from you. Sharon tried to deflect by saying she only shares her inner circle with partners once they've been vetted. You countered that meeting her parents should be enough proof of your commitment. The discussion turned heated as you brought up how her friends had been costing you money over the past month, specifically mentioning the nearly $500 spent on wine, without her offering to reimburse you. You also highlighted an incident where she tried to make you pay for an expensive dinner without consulting you first. Sharon claimed that she wanted to showcase you as a great guy, but admitted to feeling disappointed in your reaction. When you confronted her about the theft of your clubs, she attempted to gaslight you by saying that you had agreed to it, but your friends backed you up, recalling that the clubs were a cherished gift from your father. At that point, the tension escalated, and Sharon began to turn the blame onto your friends, implying that they were influencing your behavior. Finally, you made it clear that if she couldn't be honest with you, the relationship was over. After a long sigh, Sharon took off the engagement ring and dropped it on the coffee table, declaring that you would never find someone as good as her. She left, instructing you to send her belongings to her apartment. In the aftermath, your friends were left stunned by the abrupt end of the relationship, and you felt a mix of shock and numbness. As you sat there waiting for pizza with your friends, you reflected on the entire situation, knowing that heartbreak was likely on the horizon, but feeling overwhelmed and confused by everything that had just happened. 